Welcome back guys. Today we are going to see how we can update Rotscape to the new version and how we can uh, update our uh, already existing uh, projects which are using uh, Rotscape. So in order to update Rotscape, you can simply go to your uh, Blender orders page and you can download the new zip which is the Rotscape uh, 3.01. Once you have downloaded that zip, you can simply unzip it. So let's do it. You have your folder, which is there. So in 3.01, we don't have to pay attention to the add-ons. The add-ons haven't changed. We just want to uh, pay attention to the asset library folder. So what we're going to do, we are going to copy it. And then we are going to go into our asset library blender uh, folder. And we want to select the already existing Rodscape uh, 3.0 asset library folder and simply delete it, okay? And then paste the new one. And as you can see now, we have Rodscape v3.01 asset library, okay? So now if we open up Blender, uh, I'm going to open a 3.0 project okay so this project was using the previous version and as you can see the texture are broken so the first thing we can do is go to file external data find missing files okay and then we go into our asset library folder roadscape textures find missing files okay and our textures are fixed and now in order to uh, change the version of roadscape in our project so we have roadscape 3.0 object here with the 3.0 modifier what we want to do is go back into our asset library and now in asset library you can see that we have the update showing up so what you want to do is simply drop the object into the scene just like this you don't have to pay attention to this then select the 3.0 again the first one original one and you simply want to go inside here and go and select 3.01 okay and then automatically the original object will update to the new one and then you can just delete this one we've just uh, imported this one in order to have the geonode uh, update version showing up so we can delete this one and as we can see now we have uh, our road and we are in a 3.01 uh, okay very good so the thing you want to do, let's say you have a, a bunch of other generators in the scene, what you want to do, you want to replace those with the new one, okay? So I have marking auto generator here. I'm simply going to delete it and I'm going to bring the auto markings again. I'm going to do a usual Alt S, Alt R, Alt G on the auto marking that I've just uh, brought into the scene. Into auto marking, I'm going to select Roadscape again, and now we can see that our auto generator is uh, in 3.01. So what you want to do, you want to replace all the Roadscape generators that you previously had by uh, new ones. Okay. So let's say for the bridge generator, we want to change the bridge generator. So let's get rid of it, and we just bring a new one, and we do the Alt S Alt R Alt G. We are in the bridge generator, go call the roadscape object and we are good. Okay, so this is how you can uh, update uh, roadscape guys and how you can update your project uh, without uh, breaking everything. Just a quick word about roadscape 3.01. This update doesn't feature much at the moment, a few fixes, but the main fix was on the generation and unwrapping of the uh, auto uh, marking uh, Auto marking uh, generation. So this is it for this uh, quick update, guys. We will have uh, another one coming very soon, which will replace the Roadscape UV operator by a secondary add-on that I'm selling uh, aside of Roadscape, and this one will be included within the Roadscape package, yeah. which is a, a very much more evolved version of the Roadscape UV operator. So this is for today's video guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the, uh, in the next video. Thank you.